Hi! In today's video, we'll explore how you can create your first um, synthetic data generation for relational databases while leveraging Ydata SDK. For this video, you will need to be already a user of Ydata Fabric because we need the authentication, but also uh, this is just a reminder, this SDK can be leveraged uh, in any type of um, infrastructure or even platform. So in this case, we are using here Google Collab, but you can also do it in your, for example, Databricks instance or even Snowflake. As you can see, I also have ensured that I have in my environment already installed Ydata SDK. Have in mind that you should be using a version uh, equal or above to 0.10. To start with, uh, we have to get our authentication and to set it as an environment variable for our Ydata token. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up, going to my own page from fabric, fabric.ydata.ai. I'm going to copy my token. Okay, have it pasted. Also, and because I'm using a different project from my first project, I will set the context the project context or the project as the context of my synthesis or all for all the artifacts that I'm going to create in this notebook. How can you get what is the ID of your project? You just need to come to the URL and copy this ID. This will ensure that you are correctly set up for all the process that you are going to do afterwards. Of course, for my uh, synthetic data generation, I'll need a data source. For that, I can create a new connector and a new data source here in the SDK, but I already have one available in my catalog. So I just need to get its ID, have it, it consumed through the SDK, and I'll be ready to go. As you, see, I, as you can see, I came to the data catalog. I have a couple connectors as well here already created. So I just join here um, the data catalog i have here the relational databases as you can see have the schema and a very good uh, understanding of how the data looks like so what i need now is definitely uh, the id uh, of my data source that i can get by clicking in explore labs and copying the uid that i can see here of course now that I'm correctly authenticated and I already have the right project context, I can just get my data source. I already have one created, so I'm just show, going to show you how you can consume it through the SDK and use it as part of your synthetic data generation process. For example, uh, for that and to get the ID of your data source, here I already have a relational database as a source of data in my data catalog. As you can see, we have here the schema with multiple tables and the relations between them. For, to get the ID of this particular uh, data source, I just need to do it exploring labs, get the ID, and have it pasted here. Now that I have the data source, I just need to get uh, or to define uh, my synthetic data generator. For that, I just need two lines of code. It's that easy. So I just need to import my synthesizer, the method, and the method is called multi-table synthesizer. Of course, I will define it. And one thing that is highly helpful for the process of synthesis is that you can, um, you can for example, define your own right connector. What does this mean? And this is a mandatory method that uh, parameter that you should put. This means that all your synthetic data that is generated will automatically be written in a connector uh, or in a storage uh, destination storage. This is highly helpful as automatically you have a way to integrate with the existing storage train a synthetic data model and afterwards automatically offload any synthetic sample that you need or want towards your destination storage. For that, I'm going to the connectors. I already have here a MySQL connector created for my synthetic uh, data set. I'm going to get my connector ID with the using labs, close it 
and have it pasted here. This will create the definition of my synthesizer and after initializing my synthesizer, I want to make sure that my synthesizer is fit to my data set or the data source that I got in the last step. Is as simple as doing this and automatically I have already my synthesizer training, which is very simple to be done and can be achieved in less than five minutes. Of course, now my uh, synthesizer is training, but as soon as the training process is finished, I can just generate my synthetic sample uh, by calling my synthesizer, calling the method sample and getting defining a fraction of the database that I need. What do I mean by this? It means that I can have, for example, if I want to have a database with the same size as the originally observed, I can set this perimeter as one, or in case I have it uh, just half of the database, I can uh, add uh, 0.5, or even I can augment it by saying that I want 1.5. This will allow me to generate a data set that has uh, a database that has the size of the original one plus half the size, so 1.5. Um, and this will allow me to automatically while sampling, uh, store all the data towards the connector that I have provided um, here uh, at the definition of our synthetic data generator. I hope you have enjoyed.